Hey everyone, welcome back to another review this week and I'm going to talk about the Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. This is what the bottle looks like. Now before I get into the review of the product, I'm just going to share some information about the ingredient and what rosehip actually does for the skin. Rosehip is harvested from seeds of rose bushes and it's the seeds that contain vitamins, antioxidants and essential fatty acids. And this ingredient works wonderfully on the skin and it's best to buy oils like these cold pressed and this extraction preserves all the quality of the oil. Also, I've read certain articles online and looked for proof whether this oil is really worth it but could not find any substantial information. So like most ingredients out there, this too might or might not work for you or might not even work for your skin type. Rosehip is completely unrefined and has its natural scent. The description reads as that this good molecules pure cold pressed rosehip seed oil is a very lightweight hydrating oil that has been sustainably sourced from Patagonia, Chile. This antioxidant rich oil is supposed to deliver vitamin A brighten up and plump the skin and also help restore the skin's elasticity. While I'm here, I'd like to give you some benefits of the rosehip seed oil. Encourages the cell turnover like retinol and aids in cell regeneration and helps boost overall radiance and collagen. It makes a perfect skin hydrating oil in extreme weather conditions and keeps the skin well moisturized and works for all skin types and of skin of all ages. Rosehip is rich in polyphenols, which helps reduce inflammation and can help calm any irritation. So people with skin problems like rosacea, psoriasis, eczema and dermatitis, this will work really well on your skin. It is also known to reduce hyperpigmentation, reduce scars and fine lines, and helps the skin boost its overall immunity. This oil here from Good Molecules just has one ingredient and I will add it here on the screen. I bought mine from the Good Molecules website. Now that I've given you all the information on the product, let's come to my thoughts on it. I really enjoyed using this both on my combination skin as well as my dry skin. I like to use it in my nighttime skin routine once I've taken off all of my makeup and cleansed my face and use it as a third step in my nighttime skin routine. I I take about four to five drops on my fingertips and warm it in between my fingers and then gently massage it all over my face and neck for about 20 to 30 seconds and leave it to soak into my skin, preferably 30 minutes before I head to bed. And when I wake up next morning, my skin does feel well moisturized and nourished. But other than that, I haven't seen any major changes with my skin. So after trying it out for a couple of weeks, I didn't see myself reaching for this oil too much. But I do have my favorite oil from this brand that I've already done a review on and it's the Asqualine oil. I'll put the link up here so that you can go ahead and watch that. And because of that, I don't see myself rebuying this in the future. I just prefer using face oils by itself to kind of know notice the result or the changes in my skin the next morning. And if you want to go ahead and apply this over a serum or a moisturizer, you can go ahead and do so as well. I love that it comes in a dark dropper bottle, which is 13 ml by the way, and it makes it so easy to travel with. It is vegan, gluten-free, fragrance-free and cruelty-free. And I love that it's really, really affordable. Thank you so much for staying till the end and watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, I suggest you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in my next. Bye.